Hey, I'm Scott Monty, and welcome to another Fit to be Tied. You know, today is National, or World, I should say, World Kindness Day. Yeah, that's right, kindness, it works all over the world. Well, look, here's the thing. It's awfully easy to be unkind. It's easy to slip into snark or negativity. It's easy to find faults and point them out. Isn't it time that we started working against that automatic response that almost makes us, because we're, we're separated by the internet, that makes us more bold in pointing other people's flaws out? You know, one of the kindest people that you'll ever come by is good old Mr. Rogers. And even for Mr. Rogers, kindness wasn't always easy. It was something he had to practice at. And I think it's something we all need some practice at, whether you're a parent, a friend, a spouse, or a leader. Kindness matters in all of those situations, and it makes people want to be around you all the more. You know, a friend of mine, Harry Cohen, has written a book called Be the Sun, Not the Salt. It's about bringing sunshine to people being optimistic, learning to walk away when things are negative, holding your tongue if you're going to say something uh, that's not so nice. You know, I think back to uh, how Bambi's mother, excuse me, it was Thumper's uh, mother in Bambi reminded Thumper, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. And Harry has some wonderful advice in this book, learning to walk away, hold the salt, uh, assume positive intent. There's one. We don't see that too often. Uh, that is when you assume that the other person is doing their best or trying their hardest and is not out to make something negative, is not out to get you. We could do with more kindness in this world, and I hope you'll make an effort today and every day to be kind to people around you. Thanks, and I'll see you on the Internet.